Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat. In this session, we would look at previously used CPA questions that were recently released by the AI CPA. Those questions are the real deal. Those questions appeared on an actual CPA exam in the past. They may or may not appear in the future, but the concept and the topic will appear in a different format. As always, I would like to remind you to connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't done so. YouTube is where you would need to subscribe. I have 1,500 plus accounting, auditing, tax, and finance lectures. This is a list of all the courses that I covered, including CPA questions. On my website, you will have access to additional resources, such as notes, PowerPoint slides, true, false, multiple choice exercises, and 2,000 plus CPA questions. I also have the CPA questions released by the AI CPA in a PDF format just as you can get it from the AI CPA. Let's take a look at this question. And always in blue, what I have is the uh, the course and the chapter that if you want to go back to my website or to my YouTube to learn about the topic a little bit more. The first question is about remembering and understanding. It means it should, you know, you should be able to answer that question quickly. It's something that you need to memorize, basically. The statement of activities in the governmental wide financial statements include which of the following, basically. A, separate column for governmental activities, yes it does. Business type of activities, yes it does. And discreetly presented component unit, if they, if they are available, yes. So yes, the government wide financial statement, have governmental activities column, business activity columns, and discreetly presented. Okay, let's look at B. Separate column for each major governmental fund? Not at all. We don't do that on the government-wide financial statement. Separate column for each non-major governmental fund? No, governmental fund, they don't appear like that on the government-wide financial statement. A separate section at the bottom of the statement that shows program and general revenues? Uh, might, but that's not what it shows. The comprehensive answer is a separate column for governmental activities, business activities, and discreetly presented component. It's something that you need to know and memorize. Let's take a look at this question. Best County's Capital Project Fund had the following receipts during the year. Transfer from the general fund, 100,000. Federal Capital gr uh, Grant, 75,000. Special Assessment for Capital Improvement, 300,000. What amount of revenues should best county report and its capital project fund at the end of the year. So capital project fund is the funds that they're using for new capital project, the building, they, they account for these activities in the capital project fund. Well, the transfer from the pro, from the general fund, this is not a capital project fund. We don't account, we, it's not considered part of the capital project fund. The federal capital, federal capital grant, yes, it's a grant by the government specifically for that. That's 75,000, that's included. Special assessment for capital improvement, that's also included in the capital project fund. So both of those will be included, 375,000. This topic is covered in chapter 10 briefly, and in chapter six, I talk a lot about the capital project fund. Let's take a look at this question. Large city does not use modified approach for, to account for roads. At the beginning of the current year, the city spent 800,000 on new roads. The roads have 20 year useful life. What amount should large city report as an expense related to the new roads and the statement of activities? What does that mean? If they don't use the modified approach, it means they're gonna depreciate this. And if they're gonna depreciate it, they're gonna show 40,000 of expenses, 40,000 of expenses. Remember, they don't use the modified approach. Let's take a look at this question. Czar Town levied property taxes of half a million, of which 1% is expected to be incollectible. During the year, Czar Town collected 450000 What amount of property tax revenue should Czar Town report in its governmental-wide financial statement? Well, if you levied 500000 1% is... 5,000, so you the revenue is 495,000. This is what would, you would report on your government-wide financial statement given this information. Therefore, the answer is C, 495,000. You don't use 450, this is cash. You don't report the full amount, and obviously you don't report zero. So it's net of the incollectible. Let's take a look at this last question. 
In the current year, Polar City paid $5,000 interest and $20,000 and 20, principal on its outstanding general obligation bond. The payment was made from the debt service fund using cash transfer earlier the same year from the general fund. How should the city report the expenditure? Well, we have a general fund, we have debt service fund, and we have permanent fund. The first thing you would have to say is, it's definitely the permanent fund has nothing to do with it. Therefore, we could eliminate B because under B, we have 20,000 under the permanent fund. Well, that's not very helpful. We still have three options, okay? Now, here, here's what you need to know. Interest and principal payment. Interest and principal payment. Although the money was transferred from the general fund, interest and principal payment are accounted for under the debt service fund. You have to know this. Therefore, the full amount is reported under the expenditure is reported under the debt service fund. Nothing under the general fund. Although the money was transferred, but when we transfer them out of the, the general fund, it's a transferred out, not an expenditure. They go into the debt service fund, and when we pay, when we pay, when we write the check from the debt service fund, the 25000 this is where we record the expenditure. Again, I invite you to go to my chapter six if you want to learn more about the debt service fund. And I believe those are the 50 questions that were recently released by the AICPA. In the next session, I don't know which section am I starting. Is it audit? Is it RAG? or is it BEC? I will cover the other questions that were released by the AICPA. As always, I would like to remind you to invest in your career, study for the exam. One way to do it, one resource is my website. Subscribe, it's worth it. You study once and it's a reasonable subscription, monthly subscription. You can cancel any time. The minimum is what month? One month. Study hard. I'm here to help you and support you. Good luck.